Okay, Skibidi Toilet, Toilet Multiverse, episode 6 to 8. All secrets, Hiko Toilet. toilet. Let's go. You enjoyed the analysis on the Skibidi Toilet Multiverse. In this video, how will Clockman Titan be saved? What new allies do we have and who are they? What okay, new let's go. Have been hidden from us? And what details have you definitely missed? Stock up on goodies and tea. It's going to be crazy interesting, but here we go. I have a tea. Time waits for no one. In episode 6, we saw the continuation of what happened in episode 5. But we watched the episode on behalf of another cameraman. From below, we see the large speakerman from last week's episode carrying a part of the large clockman, who was severed hard by a flying skibidi with magnets. Which oh my means God. the clockman has the technology to save him. Remember in episode 3, one of the clockmen saved the flower? He turned back time. And yeah. that's how a withered flower became alive again. I think the same technology could help this clockman. Also, notice this black smoke. If you look closely, you can see TV man. Apparently he's come to evacuate these two guys. You can also see Skibidi lying on the ground, who we saw in the last episode. Apparently he was destroyed by that magnetic toilet. Then our POV cameraman turns around, and we see Clockman Titan fighting with this magnetic Skibidi. The toilet fires a missile at Titan, but it does no damage. This speaks to the Titan's very strong armor. This Skibidi has a total of four missiles, by the way. Perhaps with this one he destroyed that Skibidi with the saw blade, because if he'd let him get close to him, he would have lost a limb. Him. Next, Titan fires his cannon and stops time around the ski beady with the magnet. Why yeah, it stops time cool. rather than paralyzing it, you'll understand a little later. Next, the tablet receives a message from the main office. It says that speaker is back to the headquarters. Titan has returned to headquarters and information about some subject that he was wounded, but now he can fight and that he is safe. It's about this clockman who was injured, but he's been repaired and now he's ready to fight again. And that's good news. It means no matter how injured the agent is, he can be repaired. Next, Clockman Titan turns back and sees Cameraman Titan coming at him. Preparing to collide with him, he releases his shuriken from behind his back and shoots at Cameraman Titan, but is saved by his shield. Cameraman tries to knock Clockman down, but he stands firmly on his feet. Next, he activates his core and tries to ignite Clockman's core, but it fails. As we realized before, Clockman's armor is too strong. Yeah. We need to find other ways to hurt him. Clockman's shuriken returns and slightly wounds Cameraman's arm, which allows Clockman to deliver a blow to the head. Clockman then swings in to strike, but Clockman manages to slow down time, not stop it, because you can see how Titan's arm movement doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah, it's, goes around Titan, it's slower. Him, pushes his gun away, but instead of a parasite, he finds only a slight indentation on his back, and that's it. I guess at this point he thought that Cameraman Titan had voluntarily crossed over to the Skibidi toilet, or they started controlling him by some other method, or the parasite has gotten so deep that you can't see it from the outside. Either way, suddenly his time dilation ability is gone. I think it might be related to the blows he's taken to his core, or he's been using... Uh, probably using this too 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 much time too many times using his ability too much too and much yeah. can't take the strain it's starting to overheat you can tell by the smoke coming out of his core cameraman sees that he's missed his shot so he immediately throws a second one the third one misses but clockman manages to dodge cameraman sharply breaks the distance with him to get his hammer and strike hard clockman takes the blow and is pushed backwards there is an explosion and from this explosion clockman releases three of his shurikens one of which by the way, this new series, this multiverse is pretty great, uh, you know, the the Doom Studio makes such a great animation, you re off really. Cannons. The Titan destroys one shuriken, but a third slices off his second cannon, another one he attracts with his magnetic cannon and destroys it. I have a dream to collect 100,000 subscribers on this channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, Clockman has come to his senses and attacks Cameraman, kicks him to the ground and sits on top of him, takes out his jetpack. Cameraman tries to fight back, but gets another blow to the head. Next, he tries to reach for the parasite that has him trapped. He takes out the parasite, but it is so deep that the Clockman tears off the camera with it. Realizing all that has happened, he turns yeah. back time with his last strength. His core feels very bad. It can barely stand the strain. The this titan is pretty sad. The clock they back. should cut the head of the Titan and back this Titan to the base to, to you know, to repair it. And flies away. Suddenly, the scientist toilet appears, already with magnets in its hands. Okay, the he's upgraded. And notice that he throws the clock onto the body of the magnetic toilet. He did it on purpose because he knows that those who have watches aren't affected by weapons that stop time. Apparently, one of the clockmen was destroyed and his watch was taken. The magnetic toilet regains control of Titan's arm. The other hand is held by the scientist toilet. Titan manages to break free, striking the scientist. Next, cameraman flies at him and strikes him very hard with the back of his hammer. 
right into the core. It oh fails, my god, that and was... Titan falls to the ground. The parasite tries to grab the Titan, but his drill breaks. Like I told you, his armor is very strong. The scientist orders the clockman's body to be taken with him, and they leave. The magnetic toilet strikes from our cameraman's POV, and the episode ends there. Hey, episode 7, the I got but... The begins just outside of Clockman's headquarters. Speakerman Titan destroys Skibidi who are trying to destroy her. He easily destroys all Skibidi with his cannon. At the top, the satisfied Speakerman dances, and our POV cameraman gets dropped off. On the tablet, we see a message being sent. Apparently, it's the message we saw in the last episode. Next, cameraman goes inside. There, we see the Clockman familiar to us from the last episode. You may notice one part of a large clockman, apparently delivered here by this TV man, and another cameraman. Maybe it's the one we watched episode 3 on behalf of. You can also see what looks like a cage. I think that's where the Skibidi prisoners will be held. Next we see another TV man teleporting a speaker man. This is the same speaker man from last week's Yeah, episode. this is the he same. Puts clock man on the table. The child clock man tries to heal him, but apparently his skills aren't enough yet. It's not like he's bringing flowers back to life, he needs stronger magic. Next, TV Woman teleports in with Clock Woman. On the bottom right, you can see what looks like a cannon. Apparently, when hit by this cannon, time stops around the enemy. Clock Woman thanks TV Woman, and she leaves. Cameraman tries to catch up with her, but fails. The <laughs> that was first simp of the crazy. Appears. Yeah. TV Woman begins the healing process. This time it worked. TV Woman? TV Clock, probably. And he that was a mistake. Senses. Speakerman gives him a hat, they bump fists, and the Clockman shows that all is well. Then he gets a message on his tablet that the Titan has been captured. Apparently Cameraman from last week's episode managed to send the message, before he was destroyed by the magnetic toilet. Cameraman shows the message to Clockman, and he realizes what a huge problem they're in. Clock invited in, drills inv invented. The episode begins with Skibidi interrogating the toilet. When asked to surrender his own... That was a black speaker, man? Skibidi spat at Clockman. I think so. Clockman does not understand such humor. Skibidi did not want to do well, so it will be bad. He gave the signal, and two huge turbines began to fry Skibidi. Clockman turns back the clock and repeats his question. Skibidi refuses to answer. Then Clockman rewinds time forward, frying Skibidi again. On the second time, WC realizes he'd better tell. He wrote <laughs> everything he knows in a notebook, and our POV cameraman left the room. Here we can see the new HQ room, which we haven't been in before. It has yeah. a lot of equipment in it, most likely a command center, where the agents are coordinated. They uh, prepare some weapon, by the way, here. We see a poster of a magnetic toilet. We also see a table. I think it's designed to repair agents' minor injuries. The clockman and the black speaker man come out of the room. He pulls a lever. I think think he set it on fire, then approaches another clock man and sees a message that Skibbity Toilet Base is the target. Large TV man comes up behind him, and if you listen to what he says in the rewind, you can hear the word headshot. We start looking at his screen, and there's something that looks like a drone, has two strange things on the sides, which fall off when you hit the Skybeady toilet. You can see the speaker man standing in front of the new Skybeady toilet. He's wearing headphones. Apparently he was preparing for a... This is a Santa or a new a New Year Skibidi toilet. <laughs> so He's crazy. Goggles. He fires all his missiles at the Titan, but they don't do any damage to Speakerman. The Titan opens fire on Skibidi and destroys him. A parasite attacks him from behind. The Titan turns his speakers towards his back and stuns the parasite, preventing it from taking over the Titan's mind and destroys it with his cannon. Suddenly, Something strange begins to dig beneath the ground. The Titan prepares to attack, but the alarm clock stops him. New allies are coming out. Drillman and Large Drillman. They shake hands. Drillman gestures that all is well, and I assume the worm is crawling. Next thing you know, a message comes through. On Drillman? To prepare for a okay. mission called Rescue. I think our new allies will definitely be involved. And it's even possible that we're sneaking up on this base underground. And next episode, we'll find out what our new allies are capable of. I Okay, this is pretty awesome, guys. I really like this new Skip the Toilet series. Like this video and thank you for watching.